Hey, good early morning. Happy coffee to you. This is Christy Mattoon from Mind Rewire. Please like, um, subscribe, and comment. <laughs> it's super early. Um, all of those things, I appreciate that. Um, share these videos. If they help you, they might help somebody else too, so that would be awesome. I want to talk for a second about um, the program that I just released. It is a six-week program. Um, transformation program basically it takes you through heart coherence and creating steps to basically create a cadence so that this just happens over and over in your life it's the same thing you did on the negative side right all the junk you're trying to get rid of but now we're doing it on a positive side and creating a cadence that will keep you in that that walk right so all of the wonderful things that you want to manifest or that you just want to see in your life the things that you want to feel um this is what this six week um, challenge is supposed to do. And I'm turning it into an app so that people can use it and use it and use it because the information holds valid no matter where you're at in, in your walk of life. So, um, but I wanted to read you, this is a typical response. I sent out a questionnaire for the first um, people who jumped into this group with me. Um, my founding members is what I'm calling them because they're a very pivotal, important part of um, creating this app. And so to any of you who are watching, I thank you. Um, it's going to be an incredible journey and we've only just started. So if you want it, it's not too late. But let me read you this because I found it really interesting. It's very typical. Pretty much everybody um, who answered these questions, it was very similar. If one of the questions I asked was describe your dream outcome regarding your health, life, and soul progress. And this person said, my dream outcome would be to manifest financial abundance, financial freedom, be fit, lean, healthy, um, learn how to be the best version of myself, have a knowing of what is meant or what it is meant for me to um, be an entrepreneurial mind, on an entrepreneurial minded path and not feel stuck or uncertain about my path. And then I asked, honestly, why haven't you reached your goals? And this person said, I honestly think that I haven't reached my goals because I have so much fear that I make the wrong decisions and I just get so stuck. I have failed enough times that I don't trust myself now and my financial situation is so stressful that it hinders me to make any decisions when it comes to my business or my life. That's very typical of what I'm hearing from everybody. Then I asked, what techniques or protocols have you tried or are currently using? This person said, I've tried Site K, EFT, um, Mastin Kips, Claim Your Power Techniques, Dr. Dr. Joe Dispenza, Blessing of the Energy Centers, Meditation, I love that by the way, um, um, Turning Into New Potentials. I've read countless books, listened to many different teachers, and it's been mind-boggling that I haven't been able to create the life I want. Currently trying faster EFT and creating frequencies. Very typical answers. Very, very typical answers. Why isn't this stuff working? So I just, it just interests me. It really intrigues me. And I think that what happens is we go through life, we think something's wrong with us, right? Meaning the physical us, because we so identify with this physical person. I'm this brain, I'm this heart, I'm this gut, I'm this body, whatever it is you're trapped in. And people always say to me, nothing ever works for me. Never works. Um, the fear I have, and they understand the fear itself is creating their life experiences. So they have the knowledge at this point. I understand that the way I feel and the way I think creates my experience. I get that. Um, and it's not unusual. And I really think it's not because, or it's because not only what you've been through, but also because of what we've been taught. This isn't just because of what you've been through. It's because of what you've been taught. And you think you know how the system works because of all of these different things, right? Because you are starting to get an understanding, which is hugely important. What you have been taught, most of it was a lie. We flat out were taught lies. We were not taught correctly. We were told not to feel. Put your feelings aside. Think about what you're doing. Totally contrary to the physical system, to the human system of the way it should work. 
right? We were, we lock ourselves out of our hearts every time we get hurt. And you were taught not to participate with those feelings. Stop crying. You're laughing too loud, right? Go be in a corner somewhere and get by yourself. And it's absolutely the wrong, <clears throat> excuse me, the wrong things to do. So, I, I mean, I hear so many people yelling. I know, I get it. I look at all of these things and I try to stop this and it never stops. It still happens over and over and over. So they're using their will and trying to press in or the techniques that they've learned trying to press in. A lot of people will say they get little incremental results, like they'll get little bits that feel better, but it never sticks. It never sticks around. And they want to know why it's happening and what's wrong with them. So the question that I'm asking myself is, what are we missing? It's not what else can I do? It's what did we miss? Because we missed something. There's something in the system itself, something about us as humans, not necessarily the physical part, not necessarily, um, you know, that has to do with being in this plane of resistance or this plane of existence. <laughs> What did we miss? That's the question. What did we miss? And why don't those things work? I know what I think, and it seems to me that the thing that most all treatments, therapies, and protocols do not hit on, this is the thing that most treatments, protocols, and therapies do not teach you how to find, how to get into, although they might talk about it, they give you things that work around it, that might lead you back to it, but not necessarily, is your own spirit, your spirit. We have tons of people talking to spirit guides, which is awesome, talking to angels, which is amazing, talking to, I don't even know what you're talking to. We talk to a lot of stuff, and I do too. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm saying it's great to do, but I'm saying, when do you stop and talk to your own spirit? When have you stopped and gotten in touch and so deeply engrossed in your own spirit that you recognized who you are, right? We're trying to wake up parts of us that are the inner center of us, but it's not touching that spirit part of us. You're waking up and remembering things about yourself from past lives, from, I don't know, it's interesting the things that people are remembering um, and wanting to know more about. But when do you stop? And we call it spiritual. We're on a spiritual journey, but we're not connecting to our spirit, our true spirit. So as I asked that question, what is missing? That was the answer I got is when did you connect to your own spirit? Your spirit, not a spirit guide and not even the Holy Spirit. Great, amazing things happen in those places. Yes. But when do you attach and attract and talk to your own spirit? So that spirit part of you is the God part of you. That spirit part of you is in you, for you. It's there all the time. And when you become aware of it, it's when your power increases. Your power, your potential, your possibility, all of the wonderful words that we're using. And it's not like, so people talk about manifesting. This is the apex of manifesting. I just now did a, a video on manifesting using a name of God. It's the apex of manifesting because in your own spirit, that is a higher vibration. It's a higher form of compassion, a higher form of love, a higher form of gratitude than anything you can reach by thinking of something outside of you, right? If you're finding gratitude because you're grateful you just got a new car, you've missed the boat. The gratitude doesn't come from there. If you're using that as gratitude, it's a lesser level of gratitude than gratitude when you know your own spirit. Does that make sense? Understanding the quantum principles surrounding this is amazing. Um, when you realize that your spirit is kind of the contractual key to creating your existence, not really your thoughts, not really your emotions, but your spirit part of you, the combination together is what makes this plane of existence happen. And we're leaving out a key component. That's what I think. Let me know if that helps. Comment below. I appreciate your time.